Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Asos International TV. If you are watching me for the first time, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you are watching me on TikTok, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Kindly like, share, and comment on this video. If you are watching me on YouTube, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you. Asos International TV. I'll check the link on my bio on my WhatsApp, on my TikTok, sorry. You see, you take it to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Now, five ways of dealing with low self-esteem or how to deal with low self-esteem. I've taken time to make five, five, um, five things that you need to do for you to increase your, your self-confidence. You understand? And people with low self-esteem, they, they act in different ways. They behave irrational sometimes and they behave like, um, they like sometimes they, they can be sad this to an extent because people tend to look down on them. In case you have low self-esteem, don't worry, I'm here for you. There's a way you can deal with it, you understand? Now, like for you to build low self the first thing you need to do is build a positive relationship, you understand? Be around people that, that motivate you, that that appreciate your kind of person, that love you for who you are, that don't judge you, or who are less judgmental, you understand? So if, if, you, are, if, you, if you are building a friendship or you are trying to build a circle for yourself, and you're somebody that, you are somebody that has low self-esteem, when you 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 people talk to you down, you feel offended, you understand? Try as much as possible to build to stay to stay around people that that appreciate you, that love you for who you are, that respect your opinion and your decisions, you understand. So stay stay away from people or have less time for people who talk you down, who make you feel less out of your strength. So for you to build your less your for you to build your self-esteem or for you to build your self-confidence, you just have to be with the right association, be with the right people around you. You understand? These people that we people that we that we that we talk. That will, that will make you feel important, that will make you feel like somebody, that will speak life back into you, you understand? So people with low self-esteem, I, I think you should surround yourself with people who have positive energy, you understand? So build a positive relationship for you to have, for you to have your self-confidence back, you understand? Just in case you are dealing with low self-esteem, this video is for you. Build a positive relationship. The second one is be kind of yourself, be kind to yourself. Forget, forget about the past mistake you have made, you understand? People make mistakes, you understand? Forget whatever you offended or who offended you, all those, are, all those are, are all gone, you understand? Embrace now, embrace the present, you understand? Love yourself, appreciate yourself, take yourself out, you understand? Take time to appreciate yourself, don't feel in regret, or don't deny yourself, don't deny yourself of the joy you deserve, you understand? Just because somebody makes you feel bad, or somebody, or maybe, maybe you make a mistake that you feel that you shouldn't have done in the first place, don't worry. Forgive yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself. That can build what your self-confidence. Be kind to yourself. There's nobody that can be kind to you than you yourself, you understand? Love yourself, appreciate yourself, be kind to yourself, build positive energy, you understand? That is what I want to tell you. The third one is learn to be assertive. Let me explain something to you now. Learn to be assertive in the sense that always um always respect people's opinion, people's decision. As you understand, talk to, talk to them the way you want people to talk to you, you understand? Learn, learn things from them and then pick good, good and things that you know that, that you can learn, that, is, that can help you build your self-confidence. I'm not saying you should copy them or, or you should copy their life, because don't get me wrong, no. That's what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is this, I get me. Build, build, um, build a very good communication system with them, you understand? Now, build a very good communication system with them, in the sense that respect their opinion, respect their decision, learn things from them, and these people should learn things from people that, that, uh, that are very, very ahead of you, who have gone ahead of you in life, who are matured, who are well-to-do, who have their self-confidence, you understand? So when you learn being assertive or learn to be assertive around people like that, you respect them the way, they, the way you want people to respect you, respect their decision, the way you want people to respect your decision, love them the way you want people to love you, understand? And pick some good things from them. I'm not saying you should try to be like, to be like them or try to copy them. No, for you to build your self-confidence, but you have to pick some good, good habits from them. It really help you build your self-confidence. Let's say, for instance, you have a friend who likes reading. You understand? You can pick that from that person. If you see if you can like, you can start reading too because readers are leaders. You understand? So learn to be assertive. You understand? Respect their opinion. Respect people's decision. Respect their boundaries. You understand? Respect the kind of relationship they like. And if you respect who they are, whatever their sexuality, you respect them for who they are. You understand? So that you have your self confidence. So that they will give you. They will give you that same energy back to you. Understand? Give positive energy for you to get positive energy. Yes. The other one is. Start saying no. Now let me explain something to you. Most people don't like saying no. They feel like they say no to somebody, they will feel maybe that relationship is not going to work, or they will feel offended, or they will feel bad, you understand, or no. Sometimes you have to learn to say no. 
no matter what, whenever, just let to say sometimes, like, let's for instance, like, like, can we go out, or can we do something? Just say, sometimes you can just say, no, you don't feel like going out, or do you have something, can you give me, sometimes you just say no. Saying no is not bad, saying no is also part of building your self-confidence too. Because it's not every time you just say yes, 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 yes. Like, if you feel like maybe you are being timid, or you are being intimidated, or you are afraid of them, you know, sometimes you have to say no. Even if they are bigger than you, they are like, you learn to say no sometimes, it will really, really, Help you, you understand? So saying no at times really help you to build yourself confidence. Learn to say no. You understand? The last but not the least, give yourself a challenge. Challenge yourself, you understand? Do things that you don't like doing. Take up tasks, take up responsibility, you understand? And people, people that want people that try to work on their, their self-esteem are people who are not lazy. You understand? So you always give yourself tasks. Give yourself like things that you like as as the Every day, give yourself something to do every day. You understand? Maybe you can join a class or an online class. You can be going to the gym. You can join. Just do something that will that will challenge you. That will take you out of your comfort zone. You understand? That, that these are the way to boost your self confidence. Take yourself out of your comfort zone. Challenge yourself. Stay positive. Build a positive relationship. Be kind to yourself. You understand? That's where you can build your self. That's where you can be yourself confident, be kind to yourself, love yourself, appreciate yourself, and give yourself challenges. There should always be challenges, you understand? And don't see, I'll tell people that if you have a friend or you have people around you that make you feel that you are nobody, that make you feel that you are nobody, or you are not in their, in their, in their, in their, not in their, in their level, in their class, please stay away from those people. See, it is better, I tell you, it is better to be alone than to work with a bunch of people who are going nowhere. Like who doesn't have vision because you want to belong or because of peer pressure, you want to have you want to belong to certain to, to a certain group of people because of the way they dress or the way they behave or the way they act or the way they speak. So because you just want to join them, those kind of things will not build your self-confidence. You need to stay with people that, that appreciate you, that love you, that respect you, that talk that that, be, that boost your your confidence. You understand? What kind of people you should what you should you should stay around with, you understand? And give yourself like be kind to yourself, like I said earlier, be kind to yourself. There's no way you can you want to be yourself confident, you have to be kind to yourself. Forget about the past mistake. What has gone has gone. You so you have to like embrace the present and look at look 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 towards the future, you understand? That's the way you can build yourself confidence, you understand? Always always try to say no. Sometimes say no is Really, really important. Before, I can't even say no. If you ask me, I'll say no. But we said that I started now to say no. And it's not because it's not because I'm a bad person. Because no, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to build connectivity. I'm just trying to build some kind of connection between me and people. I'm trying to boost my own confidence. You understand? So saying no sometimes it really helps you to build your self confidence. I make you to make good decisions. You understand? Because when I say okay, let us go here. You say yes. Let us do. The, you're always saying it. You've you never said it in your life before. No, that's not. You don't have to be trying to be too nice. You can't be too nice. You can't be too bad. You just have to be at the middle. You understand? Because saying no sometimes really help you build yourself confidence. You tell people respect your decision. People respect you when you say no to some. When you say no to them, sometimes even sometimes God even tells us no sometimes. That we will pray some kind of prayer point or do some kind of thing, and the other will not come. You understand? Sometimes it's good saying no or rejection is also part of growth. You understand? So. Learn to learn from people, learn to be assertive, respect people's opinion, as you respect them. If you want to be the own self you just, you just have to respect people for who they are. Don't see if you if if you are kind of person always talk people down, definitely you have no self esteem yourself. If you are fond of making people feel bad or try to make people feel less of who they are, you have you you have a problem. This is what I'm talking to. If you have a kind of habit, stop it. Don't talk people down, because if you talk people down, you're also talking yourself down because you tend to be manipulative. You think maybe you're trying to make yourself feel comfort. You're trying to make yourself feel feel on top of the other. Maybe you're trying to make yourself feel confidence. No. Only people who are only people who have low self esteem talk people down. And I can't share with people like that because when I notice that you talk people down, I'll just stay away from you. And there's nothing you want to tell me that I will even take you serious. That is the honest truth. So try as much as possible to build a positive relationship. Number two, be kind to yourself. Third one, learn to be assertive. The fourth one is Start saying no. Last but not least, give yourself a challenge. Thank you so much. God bless you. I think I've been able to convince you, not to convince you, not to deal with low self-esteem. And we have people with low self-esteem. They are like, they are heavy weight. They are heavy weight. Just, and you have to love yourself, appreciate yourself for who you are. 
Thank you so much. God bless you. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you. See you tomorrow again in my next video.